whether off-road or in town. The Ford Cougar, available in either front-wheel or four-wheel drive versions, seems to suit a variety of conditions and drivers. We met three in need of that larger, tougher car to gauge their views on the Cougar. I'm looking for uh, a bit of luxury and a bit of practicality because as an outdoor pursuits instructor um, I don't want to be driving around in a van all the time so this is this absolutely fits the bill. The first thing that struck us when we uh, drove up to the car we looked at it and thought wow that's, that's really something you know really good styling but that carries on to the inside as well because you have all these little things even down to the sunglasses pocket here the, the uh, elbow um, uh, rests and all the rest of it. There's a lot of thought gone into it. There was a lot of power um, with the car. Um, you didn't need to put your foot down on the acceleration very much at all because you just went. Um, the handling on the road was really easy. I did mention to the chap that was sat, by, sat beside me um, how easy it was to control the steering wheel. It's very light. You do feel very safe in it um, and you'll notice that when you first get in it that all the controls are kind of up high so that you know that, that you don't if you do have to change anything while you're driving along um, you, you know you're not having to look down into the cockpit itself it's um, yeah it's well thought out well laid out as well so it's yeah really really good the mirrors are excellent you've got uh, split mirrors so that you can see wide and narrow as well um, and the view through the rear mirror I'm really surprised at. It's, uh, it's very, very good indeed. You can see everything you need to see. And a brilliant view from the, uh, from the cab here. You can see all the way around. We live in Cornwall where the, uh, the hedges are very high. This is elevated without being like a lorry. You know, you can see over the top of everything. You feel in control, but you don't feel big and clumsy. When I first got in, uh, I was overwhelmed by the kind of luxury that's, that's contained within the cockpit of it. It's really, really impressive. I like a, a fairly straight arm driving position and I found this no problem at all. So I set the seat well back. I'm uh, six foot and uh, I found it very comfortable. I think on a long journey I would have no trouble in this at all. There's lots of room for your feet. Um, even Dad drives quite far back and you think there wouldn't be much room in the back. Actually, there's a lot of leg room and it's quite spacious. I would be looking at something that I can throw all my outdoor kit in, uh, all my scuba kit in, uh, you know, and, and that fits the bill. The size of it is it's like a TARDIS in there. I'm not sure it's got uh, an appeal just for one sector. I think it's got an appeal across the board. You could put a dinner jacket on and go to a function in the evening, or you could just simply go surfing in it, couldn't yep. you, quite frankly? Yeah and the thought that's gone into it, all the little detail that people have picked up and, and incorporated into the vehicle, into the Cougar. Absolutely excellent. And you think it's cool enough for somebody to come pick you up from school? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you wouldn't be ashamed picking up at school. Mm. I think it's a lovely car and I, I would certainly, um, in fact, I'm off to the bank now to go and get a bank loan and, and purchase one. No, it is really, it is really seriously good. I'd like to take it off road, but uh, unfortunately didn't have time.